Hey guys, my name is Jackie B. Welcome back to my channel. Today is time for a weight loss update video, so let's just get right into it. Let's not waste no time, because I don't want to make a 10 minute video just to let you guys know how much I lost, because it's not that exciting. Let's get into it. So, it's been two weeks since my last update, and I weighed in at 219 point something. I don't remember. I checked this morning, but I'm filming this at nighttime, so I don't remember. But, I know it was 219 something. So, let's not waste any time. Drum roll, please. What did I weigh in this Friday at? You guys will see the picture, but I'm writing it off my phone, looking at the picture. I weighed in at 218.6. So, it's not, I'm not completely happy with it, to be honest. But, you know what? It's something, and better than nothing. So at least I'm going down, not going up. So that's the good news. Um, but let me tell you guys how I feel first of all. I was really excited to get on the scale because I actually managed not to weigh myself at all uh, during these two weeks. Um, so I thought I was doing really well because sometimes weighing yourself plays with your mind, you know. Um, so I didn't, I stayed off the scale because I was getting used to like getting on the scale like almost every day and then that triggered my mind like right away if like the scale didn't move or if it went up so sometimes it would just like unmotivate me or you know it's just weird things so I managed to stay off so I was really excited for today I was like oh I'm gonna yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna if you lose a couple of pounds or more then it was just one <laughs> so I mean it's better than nothing like I said but you know what I feel great I feel changes in my body I feel like I Mm, see them a little bit but I definitely feel it my husband like tells me that when he like uh, he hugs me he's like oh you feel like you you know you're slimmer um, so that always feels good I've had people tell me at the gym like wow you're looking great like they notice so that's very motivating that's very exciting but then you get on the scale and then you don't see those numbers move very much and you're like er wait what you know like that can like mess up your mood you know your weeks your months but you know what, I'm not letting that get to me. Like I told you guys last week, I'm very motivated. I know what I want. I just know like my goals. So hopefully, you know, I, I'm just, I stay this in this mindset and just keep it going. But, um, you know, I'm not going to sit here in front with you guys. I am going to tell you about, I know why I only lost a little bit. Um, after that last video that went up that for that one week, so I, it's been a total of two, but one week, um, I had a little bit of trouble of getting back to uh, the healthy eating habits. Um, we came back from our little spring break, and I didn't really cook that much. I would buy out. Um, I did eat late a couple of times. So I knew that kind of like, I just wasn't feeling like my complete self. Like I knew that I what I wanted, but I just wasn't there. You know, there was just like, oh, I have to do this, so I can't do this, and just excuses, you know. Um, so that kind of threw me off, but then I got, like, back by Sunday to Monday, I was like, nope, I need to get it together. I need to, you know, I want to start feeling like myself again, you know, drinking all that water, because I really slacked off, and I can see it in my face and everything. Um, so i back on track Monday till now. Um, my hardest part is definitely the weekend. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. El fin de semana... No. Especially for me, Mexicana. My parents, ahora me invito a mi suegra a comer. Mi mamá el domingo. Mañana tengo dos parties. No. Like, this is the hardest part. I don't know why. I just feel like I do so good during the week. And then in the weekend, I mess it up. But you know what? Like, I'm just going to try not to go overboard. I try not to eat too late. But sometimes it's hard. Tacos are so good at 3 in the morning. All right. So... I feel like even wearing this outfit, like I feel like you can tell a little bit more. But I will lift my shirt up so you guys can see. Wearing a tank top under. So this is a front. This is a side. Which I gave you guys a sneak peek on um, Snapchat if you guys follow me there. If you're not, then please go follow me so you guys can get sneak peeks. <laughs> but yeah. This is my update. And guys, just for the record, I'm doing this at like 
10 p.m. I should have done the body shots in the morning because today is Viernes Santo. Ya comí chiles rellenos. But um, you know what? I'm keeping it real. I don't eat chiles rellenos every day. All right? So give me a break. I'm going to be good from now on. Maybe from Monday on. But I'm getting there. All right? I used to be my highest weight when I delivered my son or when I went to give birth at 263, 266, and then after I delivered, I don't remember, but I'm now at 218.6, I think that's pretty damn good, all right? So I've been putting some work in. Oh, also, I forgot to say, well, I guess you guys get it. This is my, well, that week that I had a hard time like eating healthy, I didn't go to the gym. So I just started going to the gym on Monday as well. I think that helped me get back on track with healthy eating and stuff. When I work out, it just makes me more like, okay, you know, you already worked out. You have all this energy. You feel great. So just eat healthy, la, la, la. Um, so that really helped. So I wasn't going to the gym, but I was trying to get it together and just like, like I don't care if I don't work out, but I need to eat healthy. And that just, just kind of failed on me. Backfired. I'm just so excited to be close to 216 because I remember, I, I'm looking at pictures and I remember... These certain pictures weighing in at 216 and being when I started at like around 234 pounds I was just like just let me be 216 again please and I'm two pounds away I just can't believe it clothes fit so much better like I enjoy going shopping now again it's just great um, but yeah I'm sorry for those of you that I feel like I feel like I'm disappointing some people in not seeing better results faster but you know what it is what it is it's my journey and if I can make it go faster, I would. Maybe, hopefully in the future, some weeks, I will lose a lot more weight than I lost in these two weeks because of only like a pound. But you know what? It's okay. I'm not going to beat myself up for it. I'm just going to keep trying. And that's all I can say. So, until the next video, I will see you guys in two weeks on Friday. Please like and subscribe to see more updates and other kind of videos. Request new videos down below. And follow me on social media. Everything will be in the description box. Follow my blogging channel. And I hope I didn't disappoint you guys. If you're on this journey, best of luck. Message me on Snapchat. Anything, just let's motivate each other, guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.